Hey friends, it's me, Amy Rebecca. Yes, I still have my Christmas sheets on my bed. That is on my to-do list for today, don't judge me. For those of you who are new here, welcome. This is a place where we talk about all things personal development, intentional living, dream chasing. I'm a spreadsheet nerd. I love to share those spreadsheets with you guys as I plan and set goals and basically try to live the best version of my life. So if that sounds like fun to you, and I assure you it is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm gonna be throwing a whole bunch of information at you because it's one of my monthly budgeting videos. So we're gonna be looking back at what I spent in December. But since we're into a new year now, we're also gonna be doing kind of an annual overview of everything I spent in 2023, as well as setting up my brand new budget and spending rules for 2024. I have some goals, I got a new spreadsheet, I am feeling good. I'd be feeling better if you weren't so wonky though up with my tripod. Before we jump in, I just want to give a shout out to gold Patreon member Neve Kenny. Thank you so much for your support, girl. I love you. Um, and also, I feel like now will be a good time to let you know that at the end of this month, I'm going to be closing the Patreon page, but I'm going to be picking it all up and moving it on to YouTube memberships. So if you're interested in getting more exclusive videos and content, then I'll leave all the information in the description box down below. But for now, let's get into the finances. For background, I had a little bit more money in my budget for December because I had the money out of my Christmas tin. So I had a total budget of £820.53 and I only went £5.22 over, which considering it's Christmas, I really don't feel like that's bad at all. So let's take a look at what I actually spent in December. So for groceries, my budget was £15 and I actually spent £43.80. Now, I feel like I need to say this every month, but when I talk about groceries, I'm not talking about all of the food that I consume throughout the month. I'm just talking about the little top-up groceries that you get, you know, when you run out to the shop to like get something extra, not within your planned grocery budget. Um, so that was pretty high in December because I went out and I got a bunch of non-alcoholic drinks, trip drinks, kombucha, no seco. So that's why that's quite high. Um, eating out, I budgeted 80 pound and spent zero, which technically, is not true. I did eat out, I ate out a lot in December, but I like to distinguish between eating out because I can't be bothered to cook, which is something that typically I do quite often, and then socializing with people, making plans to meet with people, and then eating as a form of socialization. Because one of them is out of laziness and one of them is out of like actually like being social and like making an intentional decision to go out and eat as opposed to being like, I'm gonna go out and eat because I don't wanna cook. Okay, petrol was 50 pound drinks. I budgeted 20 pound and ended up spending 33 pound 95, which was a whole situation. I, I made a little bit of a vlog about it. Actually, that's one of the members only videos that I have. So if you wanna become a member, you can go and take a look at that whole ordeal but yeah that happened coffee i didn't spend any money in december so what do you know miracles do happen gifts i budgeted 70 pound and spent 66 clothing um i budgeted zero and spent 23.98 but that was for a dress that i bought on my credit card in november so it's not like i bought anything new in december i was just paying for what i had already bought and had not yet paid for Takeaways, I budgeted £15 and spent £13.50. Social, this is where all the money went, mostly on food. Um, I budgeted £100 and I only spent £118.25, which I don't, I don't feel like that's bad at all. That's really close. Uh, health, I budgeted 40 and only spent 35 Books, nothing. Toiletries, nothing. Transport, I did go a little bit over what I imagined. I budgeted 15 and spent 18.59 which included paying for parking which I hate doing but I had to because at Christmas time you cannot park anywhere. Hair care I budgeted £30 and spent £30.15. Skin care <laughs> I budgeted £40 and I spent 86.41. I need to take a look at that actually. Like, what did I buy? I think I know. Oh, yes. Actually, if you think about it, I got a bargain, okay? Girl math it with me. Let's do it. So I needed to get a new night cream 
and a new eye cream. Number seven had an offer on, three for two and also £10 off and I get 10% off because I'm in the contact lens scheme. So I actually got a bargain because this £43.90 included a foundation as well. I also, I got a new serum from The Ordinary um, for £30.51 and is that all? I think that's it. So when you consider that, oh and a cleanser. So I got a cleanser, a serum, a night cream, and an eye cream. And when, I mean, when you think about it like that, 86.41, is it a bargain? I mean, yes. Okay, makeup, I didn't spend anything. Beauty treatments, um, 55, but I didn't spend all of that. Some of that was just cash stuffed. Trips, I spent zero. Subscriptions, I spent 32.98. Charity, I ended up going a little bit over because I did uh, the Christmas like toy appeal. Um, so I spent £30.30. .30. Hobbies, I spent £99.49. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not making excuses, but I am, kind of. I had to get new running shoes. I had to because I was gonna hurt myself if I didn't have proper running shoes. I've been running this whole time since the summer with like an old pair of trainers and the longer I was running, I was like, girl, you're gonna like properly injure yourself. So I went out, I got some trainers. I also got a little top to wear running cause it's cold out. And um, you know how everyone says running is like for free? It's not, it's really freaking expensive. Running shoes, expensive. Running clothes, expensive. That's it, the actual running is free, but you need to buy the stuff. End rant, okay. Um, I cash stuffed 50 pound for my car, which is just as well because it is leaking again. Christmas, I budgeted 50 pound and I spent 30 on like a Christmas Eve meal with my parents. Um, and miscellaneous, I spent eight. So I did go over in quite a few places, but I also came under in a lot of places. Now we're gonna take a look at my annual spend for 2023. This wasn't part of this spreadsheet. I just made my own very crude looking table on a separate sheet, just so we could go through and have a look. So groceries, like I said, just top up little groceries here and there throughout the year. I spent 277.82 eating out 462.79, not so bad, really, in the grand scheme of things. Petrol, I spent £547.25, but there's not really much I can do about that. Drinks, get this, £520.60. I could have gone on holiday with the money that I spent on wine. That's wild. The good news is that figure is going to be lower in 2024, mark my words because I am in the process of trying to become a completely sober girly and it's hard. I feel like I could make a whole video just about that because as much as I like, I don't drink very much, it's still weirdly such a social thing that it's difficult to give up completely. I don't know, but yeah, 520 pound. I'm not gonna be anywhere near that in 2024. Obviously, if I'm out at the pub or I'm out for drinks, even if I get a Coke or a mocktail or whatever, it that costs money, but it's gonna cost significantly less than like a glass of wine. Seven pound for a glass of wine in my local pub now. Mm. Anyway, let's move on because my head is reeling from that. Coffee, 55 pound 69. I'm not sorry. Gifts, I spent £495.69. Clothing, £579.72. Oh my gosh, that's wild. I feel like I didn't even really buy that much, but clearly I did. That is, we're gonna circle back to that when I'm making my budget for next year. Takeaways, I spent £132.55, which is really not that bad over the course of a year. Social is by far, looking at this, my most expensive category, £1,013.57, which is a bit bizarre because I don't feel like I'm really that social. <laughs> I don't feel like I have much of a social life at all. Health is £461.57. About half of that is just the annual cost for my contact lenses. Those are pricey. Um, and then the rest is just because my uh, immune system sucks. Books, I only spent £15.59, which is not much at all. 
toiletries £52.84, transport £74.04 which is more than I anticipated, hair care £143.64, skincare £182.42, makeup £129.84. So I think it's fair to say the upkeep of my general appearance is about £500 a year. <laughs> Beauty treatments, £879.30, but like I said, about £100 of that is still waiting to be spent. It's cash stuffed. Um, trips, £322.75, with the caveat that I did go abroad a couple of times last year, and like the flights and hotel, I didn't pay out of my monthly budget. That came out of a separate savings account. Um, so this is more just like spending money and that kind of thing. Um, subscriptions, I paid £428.5 and that will be reduced in 2024 because I've already cancelled a bunch of subscriptions. Uh, charity, I spent £89.99. Hobbies, I spent £670.23. And my car, I spent £499.60. It's like a giant hole in your wallet, isn't it, owning a car? It's just it never, <laughs> never ends. Uh, miscellaneous, I spent £329.76, which seems like a lot. And then £30 for Christmas, bringing my total to £8,795.30. So not bad, but if we go across from January, we can see that typically my spending did increase significantly towards the latter part of the year. I need to rein it in a little bit, I think, again. But then cost of living crisis, like there's many factors at play here. Okay, I'm gonna take a little sip of water and then we're gonna jump straight in to my new, my brand new budget for 2024. Okay, so like I said, I have a brand new spreadsheet for 2024 and I know it doesn't look like much now because there's no data in there yet, but it's gonna be full of graphs and charts and all that good stuff. And it's basically like a more advanced version of what I was using last year. So the actual monthly spreadsheet looks pretty much exactly the same as the old one. And we need to go in and say, what our budget is for the month, which I'm gonna keep it at 750. I might change it as the year progresses, but for now I feel like 750 is fine. I also have a little uh, row here for side hustles, um, cause I wanna start earning a little bit more side money in 2024 and sharing all of that information with you guys. Um, so that's to come. So let's budget out that money for January. So groceries, let's go 15. I think that's pretty reasonable. Eating out, I'm gonna aim to eat out for no more than 15 pound. Uh, petrol has gotta be 50. Car maintenance is 50 because I put that into um, a little sinking fund. Uh, gifts is 30. That's something I cash stuff every month. Health, again, I cash stuff 35. Beauty treatments, I cash stuff 55. Um, and clothing is gonna be zero. Makeup, I am gonna need to spend some money. <laughs> Why does everything always run out all at the same time? I guarantee you my primer and my foundation and both of my concealers are going to run out in January. So that's going to cost me about... £35 maybe? Um, skincare, I should be set. I don't think I need any new skincare products at the moment. So we can put that down as zero. Hair care, I need to get a couple things that should cost me around, again, 35 maybe. Um, toiletries, do I need anything? I don't think so. Uh, books, I don't need any, had some for Christmas. Takeaways, we're gonna go for the standard 15. I think if I allocate myself 15 pound a month for takeaways, I think that's, that's a very frugal, right? I mean, it would be more frugal to just not order takeaways, but I think 15 pound is fine. Uh, petrol. Why do I have petrol twice? Um, I think I fixed it. Question mark. Hobbies. I'm gonna be spending £11 for the gym and I'm gonna go to a couple of park runs. So let's say... Let's say... 
17. That's a very specific number. I don't know why, but we're going with it. I'm going to start cash stuffing um, charity for next Christmas because I did the Christmas um, gift appeal and I just... I wished at that time that I'd had more money set aside to do that so I could get like more gifts so I'm gonna cash stuff okay if we say 10 I think that's really reasonable um transport I'm gonna say zero trips I need to pay off a trip that I'm going in in March for 80 pound social don't see myself being super sociable in January because is anyone um so let's just do 50 drinks is going to be i don't see myself going out for drinks at all but if i do they will be mocktails um christmas is zero because it's january miscellaneous zero. Oh, and i did want to add one more category which is personal and for that i'm gonna cash stuff money each month and that's going to cover things like if I want to meet with my coach, if I want to buy like personal development books, if I want to do like an online course, like anything that's going to help me better myself. But I need to figure out how I'm going to squeeze that into my budget. <laughs> Let's start with 35 and see how it goes. So if I adhere to all of these expectations that I've set for myself, I should come in £248 under budget. That sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't fill in my bills. So this year I'm putting my bills separate. Last year I had them as subscriptions within my expenses. This year I am doing it a little bit differently. So I'm not paying for Disney Plus this month, but I do have Spotify, which is $10.99. I have Audible, I'm not paying for this month. Am I only paying for Spotify then? I'm also including my savings in this year's budget. So I wanna put a hundred pound into my investments. Um. Oh, that means I'm going to have to increase the budget because I don't take my savings out of my budget, if that makes sense. Like, I, in my head, it's separate. Like, savings money and spending money, it's separate. So, let's change that. The rest of these are getting sorely neglected unless I have any money left over and then I'll divide it up. <gasps> Lord, I need to take a break <laughs> and just pause and then we'll go over my spending goals for 2024. So I heavily debated doing another no buyer in 2024 but I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna be that strict on myself but I am gonna make some tweaks that are definitely gonna help me spend less this year. I have three right now. If I come up with some more as the year progresses then I'll just add them in but number one is no money from my budget is to be spent on clothing in 2024 which means that if I want to buy new clothes I'm gonna have to get that money from selling the clothes I already have on Vinted. I have to earn that money to go out and buy clothes because when I saw how much money I spent on clothes last year I was shocked. I really didn't feel like I'd spent that much on clothes. I really didn't feel like I'd bought that much. So I definitely don't want to end up in that same position in 2024. Not least because my wardrobes are boosting. Number two is to keep the amount that I spend on drinks in 2024 to under a hundred pound and that is quite a tall order because even a mocktail is like four pound I think so we'll see but that's the goal I think it's achievable I don't know I guess we'll find out and number three is to make some money each month in some kind of side hustle that I can put towards a big exciting trip at the moment I'm thinking I want to go to Kenya um, but my bank account is like, <laughs> no. I have to figure out what kinds of side hustles I can start doing. Like, how am I actually going to start making this income? But that's one of my big goals for 2024, is to just have that little bit of extra money coming in that I can put towards something fun, like something different. And now, with all of that said, let's go and do some cash stuffing. Cash stuffing is always my favorite part of the monthly budget reset. So I have my cash stuffing wallet here. I also have my sinking funds wallet here. I will link them both in the description box down below. And we're gonna kind of take stock 
of what I have as well because I haven't done that in a little while and I'm interested to know. So first off, let's stuff away the money for gifts. That envelope is completely empty after Christmas. So that's 10, 20, 30 pound to go in there. Then I need to put 50 pound in my car maintenance envelope. But let's see how much is in there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10, 20, 30. Add the 50. So that's 180 pound. And my car just broke again. So all of this will be gone. Then I have my brand new personal development wallet. So we said we were gonna put 35 pound in there each month. 10, 20, 30, five. So that's all my sinking funds. And then we move on to my cash stuffing, which is the stuff that I spend on more of like weekly, regular basis. So the beauty envelope is looking pretty full. There's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 72 in there now. And I need to put in another 55. 127 pounds in there. So by the time I get my nails done this month, I'll still have a hundred pound left over. Sounds like a facial is coming my way. Health, I have 35 pound in there and I'm gonna put in another 35. And petrol, we need 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, perfect. Okay, all stuff and ready for the month. Oh my gosh, we've covered so much ground today. Sorry if this video is obnoxiously long, but at least now I'm all set up for 2024. I feel positive. I feel like I'm gonna be able to reduce down my spending even more. I mean, I'm pretty frugal generally, but there's always room for improvement. I wanna see a little bit more money going towards my savings and more intentional purchases because it's really easy. And especially when you see like your annual overview, it's really easy to see that you've spent like hundreds of pounds and you're like, I don't even remember buying anything. So here's to a frugal and intentional 2024 with lots of savings. Let me know what your budgeting goals are for 2024 because I am very nosy and I would like to know. Remember that you are enough just as you are and I will see you soon. Bye.